Much another group of stocks rallying today are the names that could benefit from a reported $1 trillion infrastructure package that the president is working on. Dom Chu is digging into those movers. Dom? All right, so Kelly, talk about those decisive market moves. Check out what's happening with Vulcan Materials, Martin Marietta, Nucor, Caterpillar, construction aggregates, asphalt, sand, gravel, that sort of thing. They go into making roads, buildings, Martin Marietta, Vulcan Materials there, Nucor, a steel company, making rebar, that sort of thing. And then Caterpillar, a big construction equipment company, very decisive moves. You can see there are 5 to 9% on the upside here. But is it all that decisive, to Courtney's point about retail, if you look longer term? Check out this chart of Vulcan Materials because it's been probably a, the better part of three or four years now that we've been talking about a larger scale infrastructure project. So Vulcan Materials over the course of the last year, you can see down about 7%. But over the last three years, it hasn't really moved all that much. And the peaks and valleys have coincided with some of those headlines about a possible infrastructure bill. And one more thing to take note, a public service message here. This particular ETF, the iShares S&P Global Infrastructure ETF, even though it says infrastructure in the name, the ticker IGF, has a lot of global power, energy, and utility names. So if you're looking to play some of these construction aggregate and building stocks, this may not be the most appropriate one to take that view. Other smaller ETFs that I will not mention, Tyler, are probably the ones you want to look at there. Back over to you. Dom, on this same issue about the infrastructure uh, plan, you know, even poured a little cold water on that this morning, and yet the stocks are still jumping. You know, it's almost like they just they're looking for an excuse to rally. So they have been, although I would point out that they did take a little bit more of a disproportionate hit relative to the market over the course of the past couple of weeks, even as we saw that big downturn in the markets last Thursday. So one of the things to keep in mind, we've seen a lot of volatility in these names. And like I said, if you look at a three-year chart of Vulcan materials, you'll see that we've seen peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys, all to net out to just about a 5% loss over three years. For many of these stocks, you could be looking at a situation where, like I said, a lot of moves peaks and valleys here, just to the upside and downside, many of those coinciding with some news about infrastructure. This particular move here, remember, has seen a sharp move to the downside just in the past few months. We'll see if that has played into some of those results about why the stock is still surging, even despite the fact that some cold water has been poured on those headlines, guys.